Socks will be black and extend above the top of the 9-inch safety boot to ensure comfort. Footwear consists of black 9-inch steel-toed smooth leather safety boots with black laces. These boots will be blackened and buffed. An optional 9-inch rough out steel-toed leather safety boot is authorized for wearing ashore only. Boot laces will be tucked in so as to present a well-kept appearance. The black mock neck is worn between the undershirt and the shirt. The Gore-Tex parka is the only authorized outer garment worn with the NWU. It was designed to be worn with or without the detachable black fleece liner. Features of the parka include underarm ventilating zippers, waterproof one-way front zipper concealed by a welt, and a permanently attached rolled-up hood that can be stowed in the collar. It also has an adjustable draw cord waist with barrel locks, two upper chest pockets with concealed water-resistant slide fastener openings, two lower pockets with flaps, concealed hand warmer pockets, adjustable wrist tabs, and a rank insignia tab for a slide-on insignia. Note puncturing, pinning, or sewing items to the parka is not authorized as this will degrade the parka's waterproof characteristics. The black fleece liner, which will provide extra comfort and protection during extremely cold conditions, has a zipper to secure it to the inside of the parka. It has two side pockets with zippered closures, two internal mesh upper chest pockets with elasticized tops, and underarm zippers. Each sleeve has a sewn-in loop for attaching the liner to the parka sleeve. The black fleece is the only liner authorized to be worn with the parka. Note, it is not authorized to be worn as a standalone outer garment. All rank insignia will be embroidered in the appropriate color on matching digital print cloth. The cap insignia for E4 and above is centered on the front of the eight-point cap, with the bottom of the insignia approximately one and a quarter inch from the visor. When wearing a captain or petty officer cap insignia, the eagle faces to the wearer's right. E1, 2, and 3 personnel will not wear a cap insignia. The appropriate embroidered rank collar insignias will be worn by personnel E4 through O10. Except for flag officers, the center of the insignia is placed approximately 1 inch from the front and lower edges of the collar. The vertical axis of the insignia is placed along an imaginary line bisecting the angle of the collar point with the eagles facing inward. Rear admirals will wear the rectangular size embroidered grade insignia. Vice admirals and admirals will wear a slightly smaller size insignia to properly fit on the collar. The insignia is centered between the top and bottom edge of the collar. The outer edge of the insignia should be approximately one inch from the front edge of the collar, with one ray of each star pointing toward the top edge of the collar. All officers CW02 through 06 will wear the regular size embroidered collar insignia. Staff Corps officers and warrant officers will wear the appropriate equally sized specialty device on the left collar. Enlisted rating specialty collar insignia are not authorized to be worn on the NWU. The lettering of name and U.S. Navy tapes for officers and chief petty officers will be gold and E1 through E6 will be silver. Identification markings will be embroidered in approximately three-quarter inch block letters on approximately one and a quarter inch wide fabric strips. Names that are exceedingly long can be embroidered in approximately one half inch letters. The U.S. Navy tape will be sewn centered above and flush with the top of the left shirt pocket. The name tape will be sewn centered above and flush with the top of the right shirt pocket. All breast insignia will be embroidered in the insignia's proper color. The command insignia, command at sea, command ashore, and project manager is worn on the shirt above the right pocket, centered one quarter inch above the name strip. The command insignia can be metal or embroidered on a strip of NWU fabric. When authorized, a maximum of two warfare or qualification insignia may be worn on the NWU.
They will be embroidered on a fabric strip of the NWU pattern, rectangular or square, and in the approximate size of the insignia. The primary breast insignia is centered above and flush with the U.S. Navy tape. Secondary breast insignia will be worn centered on the wearer's left pocket flap. Enlisted personnel authorized to wear two warfare or qualification insignia and a regular size identification badge may wear the primary and secondary insignia centered atop one another and flush above the U.S. Navy strip. The following identification badges are authorized to be worn on the NWU. Navy, Fleet, Force, Command Master, Senior Chief, and Chief Badges, Recruit Division Commander, Command Career Counselor, and Security Law Enforcement. Note, the NWU is the only uniform in which two warfare devices may be worn in this manner. Identification badges can be either metal or embroidered on a strip of NWU fabric. All officers will wear the regular size identification badges above the right pocket centered one quarter inch above their name. One current assignment approved force, command, or unit patch may be worn centered on the right pocket below the flap. The size of the patch should not exceed three to three and a half inches in length, width, or diameter. On the trousers, the wearer's embroidered surname strip will be sewn centered above and flush with the top of the right rear pocket. Black gloves may be worn during inclement weather conditions, provided the sleeves are rolled down. Note, this policy is not intended to restrict the wearing of gloves at any time when required for personal protection. For environmental extremes, the following modifications are authorized when granted by a regional commander or commanding officer. The NWU shirt may be removed and the trousers unbloused on job sites or in workspaces. Finally, ensure that you refer to and follow the manufacturer's care instructions located inside each garment.